Java, error can be divided into two categories. One is compile time error and uh, uh, another is runtime error. And compile time error are syntactic error during uh, writing of the programs. Most common example of compile time errors are missing semicolon, comma, double quotes, etc. You know that that sometime uh, you uh, write like say if I write here int a b and that's I'll miss this semicolon so it will uh, throw some error there okay and uh, they occur mainly due to the poor understanding of the language or lack of concentration in writing the program sometime we miss that sometime uh, uh, we uh, uh, put it here like say I'll put it here here and like this so uh, this type of error occur there and uh, and there is another error that is called the logical error mainly due to improper understanding of the program uh, logics by the programmer logical error cause the unexpected or unwanted output like say uh, now you want to uh, to uh, take something uh, some output like say uh, you want age calculations in your programs and you are giving something like say a uh, price of a product there so obviously the output will be different uh, and uh, so that's what uh, the uh, the logical error is and this is actually happened this lack of understanding of the proper logic of the program and the uh, programmer uh, just miss something uh, like uh, the uh, checking of something uh, very uh, vital things there then uh, there are another kind of uh, error that is called the exceptions okay and the exceptions are runtime error which programmer usually uh, does not expect like say div uh, something divided by zero so you didn't expect that kind of things but yes uh, in the programmings you know that uh, this kind of things happen so like say when you go out somewhere and uh, you know that uh, in the uh, in your uh, journey it may be something happen so uh, you are prepared uh, uh, in advance but you know uh, sometimes uh, uh, the uh, something happen like uh, uh, that you fell down or something uh, that happened and uh, that may be uh, some problem there so you have to be prepared for that uh, like say you have to take the bandage and uh, the details and some fasted things so these are uh, these the uh, exception so that is when uh, uh, you are going somewhere so you have to be prepared like that so here also uh, it expected when the program is running so they occur accidentally which may result in abnormal terminations of the program so java provide exception handling mechanism which can be used to trap these ex exceptions and program smoothly after catching the exceptions. Common examples of exceptions are like divisions uh, by zero, opening file which does not exist, insufficient memory, violations uh, of array bound. So these kind of things happen. Now let's uh, uh, understand the proper definitions of exception handling. So an exception uh, in Java programming is an abnormal situation that is occurred during the program executions. In simple word, it is an event that occurred during the executions of the programs and it disturbed the normal flow of the program. So this is the, uh, here you see this, uh, uh, in simple word, it is an event, okay, it is an event which occurred during the execution of the programs. So like uh, uh, you are calculating some uh, uh, important uh, data there and then suddenly some data comes uh, that something divided by like something divided by zero. So here uh, you didn't expect, you don't expect this uh, kind of error. So then the uh, some, some error is uh, there and the program abruptly uh, disrupt that and it uh, abnormally terminate the programs. So this kind of things has to be, have to be trap it or check it, okay? And this is what the exception is. Now exception handling in Java. So when an exception occur in a program, the program execution is disturbed or terminated. It is disturbed or terminated. And this is an abrupt termination. The system generate a message and display it. 
The message generated by the system may be mysterious like some codes are unreadable. Like mysterious for uh, say unknown persons or a layman, uh, layman persons. But if you are a programmer, you know that what kind of error it is. But if a normal person, when you are building a software for somebody or some organizations uh, and the users uh, uh, will not be understood what the error is. And obviously the programs abruptly uh, ended. Okay, so uh, when the matter is generated, uh, it's very unusual kinds of messages, very uh, uh, mysterious messages, then that message is not understood by normal users. So that's why you need to uh, prompt some uh, uh, user understandable messages, okay? That's what the uh, exception handling is. And the reason for exception uh, to occur that exception related to input, then reason may be that the input data is incorrect or unreadable. Sometimes you are inputting some data and that is not readable uh, by the um, by the uh, computer. Like say you want to enter a number and you have entered say character there. So this uh, could be the unreadable uh, for the, the uh, interpreter at that time. And exception in uh, array handling, so you have provided say 10 elements in the array and you want to access the element elements of the array so it will throw an error error. An exception for file uh, input output say you uh, are putting some file there and the file will not be there. So it will give some error there. You know that uh, in MS Word if you uh, want if you try to find some file that is not there in your computer so it will it will throw an error that file is file file is not found. But if some error is like there, some very unusual things, then you don't, we won't understand. So what kind of error is? So the MS Word provided uh, a very uh, good uh, uh, prompt there. File is not found. So you now you understood that what is the error there. Then printer not available. So you are, are printing something and the printer is not on, or some printer is uh, corrupt, or something happened to the printers, and it will say that printer not available. Network issue sometime that network is not there, they are trying to access the networks and it will throw some error. Now benefit of exception handling, why we should uh, handle the uh, exception? You know that uh, uh, when we do some uh, programs and that uh, some kinds of uh, error comes and very mysterious kinds of uh, informations there on the screens and uh, it will be very difficult to understand by the users. So uh, that's what the exception. So benefit of exce uh, exception handling is that uh, sometime uh, this happened that uh, in the mid of the uh, the program execution something happened. So it need to be trapped. It need to be uh, give some meaningful information that this kind of thing happened. So here the key benefit of exception handling is that it keeps the normal flow of the application despite uh, the occurrence of an exceptions. It enhances readability, okay. It enhances readability. That means uh, if errors occur or not, it's uh, uh, like say some exception is given it line number that and also like divide by zero. Some actually uh, user, uh, uh, normally you don't know what is that error. But if it is like say it divided by zero is not possible. If this message is there, then it is very, very much readable that. This is stimulate consequences as the error handling takes place in one place and in uh, one manner. It makes for clear, robust, fault tolerant programs. So it makes for uh, it makes for clear. That is, it is a very very clear program that it is okay. Here the programs uh, might be uh, uh, the error occurs, so the exceptions has to be trapped. And this is the robust and the fault uh, tolerant programs. Now the, uh, the types of exceptions, so there are certain types of exceptions and uh, normally there are two types of exceptions that uh, these uh, checked exceptions and exception that is checked by the compiler at the time of compilation is called a checked exceptions. There is another exception is called the unchecked exceptions and an unchecked exception that cannot be caught by the compiler but occur at runtime or program execution is called an unchecked exception and you know guys uh, uh, this the type of exceptions is very much asked in the interview questions so how how many types of exceptions are there but uh, 
apart from these two exceptions, there is another uh, type of things that is called error and error is irrecoverable. Some uh, examples of error are out of memory errors, virtual machine error, libra library incompatibility error, infi infinite recursion error. So this kind of error is irrecoverable, but the exception can be recovered can be recoverable, but <coughs> it is uh, the error is not recoverable. Exception handling Java is done by five keywords. So these are the five keywords that try, catch, finally, throw, and throws. So we'll discuss uh, uh, each of them in the coming uh, hour. So these are uh, five keywords. Uh, uh, this is the uh, try keyword, uh, and this try keyword is used to specify a block, and that. Uh, yeah, uh, and is uh, block and this block must be followed by either catch or finally that is we can't use try block alone so try block you can't use uh, just alone uh, but you ha you have to put the catch block now here catch block this keyword must be preceded by a try block to handle the exceptions and can be followed by a final block later and the finally block there is this keyword is uh, is used to execute a program whether an exception is handled or not whether there is an exception uh, occur or not uh, it has to be done it has to be occurred this finally uh, block uh, will occur irrespective of uh, the exception happen or not and in finally block uh, it's uh, generally it is given like say file close and uh, database close like this kind of things generally are uh, given in the finally block then, then there is a throw and throws here. The throw uh, this keyword is used to throw an exception, and throws this keyword is used to declare an exception. Okay, so these are five keywords by which we can uh, we can uh, handle the exceptions in Java. So the few of check exceptions in uh, Java are the I/O exceptions. The file not find exception, class not uh, found exception, SQL exceptions, data access exceptions, instantiation exceptions, unknown uh, host exceptions. So these are uh, the few of the exceptions are. Now here you see this uh, uh, when I define it here like uh, uh, public input. Uh, here this is the this is the class name here. Okay. And I have defined input stream readers and input stream reader, then buffer reader. So it will throw an errors. It will throw an error, and at compile time, so uh, so it will uh, throw an error. So we have to give here the throws IO exceptions. Okay. So when throws, because input exceptions will be checked at the time of the compilations, because input you know that it is not at runtime things, so it has to be uh, trapped it. And uh, this kind of exception is also known as the checked exceptions. Okay. And uh, this unchecked exception, you see the arithmetic exceptions, uh, null pointer exceptions, uh, number format exceptions. Array index of bound of ex uh, exceptions and in a, a string index out of bound exceptions. Here I have given one example here of uh, the uh, the unchecked exception that is it is at runtime. So uh, at compile time it will not give any any error because int a ten b zero is no error here. Everything is perfect. Everything is all right. And int c equal to a by b. And when that is running, so when that running this uh, the, this point, the error will occur, and this is called the unchecked exceptions. And this will um, uh, give this error exception in thread main Java dot lang dot automatic exception by zero. So it say here you see this. If user see uh, this kind of information, so now uh, if user see this kind of information so you know that uh, user can't understand so what is this and uh, they can be very in panic there okay so if if uh, the uh, if these uh, print like say divided by z something is divided by zero is not possible so this this is understandable but uh, uh, for a layman for a, the user here this type of things is not understandable and now these are the hierarchy here. The first is the uh, Java object here, 
and then there is a throwable class and then the error and here in error virtual machine error assertion errors but here is the exception here you see the exception is the top of all these uh, classes so if you give the exceptions so it can be uh, a trap uh, uh, any kinds of uh, the checked and unchecked exceptions and runtime exception sql exceptions here the io exceptions and runtime exception is the arithmetic exception null pointer exceptions etc so these are the some uh, hierarchy of the exceptions now here uh, there is a, i have given one uh, try catch block here uh, first i'll explain a little bit something here and then i'll um, uh, go into the eclipse uh, to to check uh, the programs there okay so here are the uh, java try catch blocks how you can use that so first of all uh, in the try uh, blocks you you do the uh, uh, code there which may uh, be uh, thrown an exception here like uh, uh, like say a divided by b a divided by b so this uh, could be here checked okay and uh, the uh, that error is catch at this point here okay and here you have to pass uh, the uh, the class of the exceptions and the object of that uh, exceptions and the coding that you you can put it here and there may be a multiple uh, try catch block here one try block here and then multiple catch block okay so multiple catch block will be there with one uh, uh, the try block here and uh, so this kind of uh, things is the multiple uh, try catch block so there is uh, the, uh, the this is the simple uh, program here that a equal to 10 and b equal to zero here now here you see this the error is okay so maybe if a b equal to say a b equal to 5 there will be no error it will be perfectly all right but if this uh, divided by 0 like here b equal to 0 then obviously there may be one error here so it will give the errors uh, and it will break the program say so, and this thank you will be not be printed here thank you will not be printed so you know uh, say uh, maybe thousands of coding after these uh, lines so that will uh, it will uh, terminate the program from here this point from these points it will terminate the programs but you don't want that okay you don't want that that termination so what will you do you put this all things or only these things uh, in the try block okay in the try block you see this i have put this a equal to 10 b equal to 0 and then a divided by this is the uh, the po uh, point where the error might be occur or the exceptions might be occur okay or the exceptions might be occur that it depend you don't know when that uh, uh, divided by zero or will be zero will be uh, uh, the, the denominator will be zero so you don't know when it will occur but that is what the you have to provide here the the try catch block now here in the try block you have to put all the codes and in the catch block you just uh, uh, take the printing uh, or the the information that this kind of error has happened okay so here it is uh, the error is the arithmetic exception here and this will be the object of the arithmetic exceptions and this will print the the um, the stack and uh, st uh, this 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 method is the print is stack trace and it will print all the informations of the error and where it is occur everything will be printed there and everything will be displayed on the screens and then this thank you is also printed here okay thank you is also printed so the flow of the program will not break here flow of the program will not break here okay and uh, uh, this will be uh, this will be um, um, this will print this the thank you okay so this is how uh, we uh, will uh, uh, we, we will do that uh, in the uh, uh, the programs here another example that uh, i have put it here int num here and uh, uh, five array elements here so this is the zero position zero index one two three and four now here you see this i have to try i have tried here to uh, uh, access the index five years index five years but here uh, there is no elements so here it will throw an error okay it will throw an error so this should be there in the try block and the, here the, the what kind of error is 
this is the array index out of bond exception. Now you say sometime you do not know what kind of error will occur. So, you can put it here exception directly, but it is not advisable, okay. It is not advisable to write it here because this is the base class of this array index out of bond class. And when you give this array index out of bond class an E and here you can print your own message here array element is not there or say uh, it's uh, uh, there is no fifth elements of the array or the sixth element because uh, uh, from the user perspective it is the sixth element okay it is the sixth element but the, your programming perspective it is the fifth element because the the index start with a zero and this thank you is also print, uh, printed there So another uh, error here, uh, you see this, uh, the uh, public static void find file, here uh, the throw, uh, throws used, I have used the throw, uh, throws IO exceptions here and here it is the file that is file, the class name of files and then uh, file is the object of this class and this test.txt, now I want to open that file, the test.txt. But uh, if it is not there in the uh, in uh, in in your uh, storage or in your hard disk, then uh, it might be through some error here. Okay. So here I have uh, run this uh, the the this uh, this method here file find here. This is the method and uh, this will be in the try block. You see this? This will be in the try blocks. So you can, uh, you don't write uh, every code here, you just make this uh, code into a, uh, into a method and that method you call in the try block and then it will print some error if there is uh, an exception here, okay. So there is a multiple uh, catch block also there. So here uh, you see this uh, multiple catch block demo here. And I have given here uh, try uh, int array 5 and here uh, uh, array 5 equal to 30 divided by 0. And you see this array 5 equal to uh, divided by 0 and then I, ha I am going to print this array of 6 here. There is another error, there is another error. You see this, there is error. So um, it will uh, throw these arithmetic errors or area into about uh, index. So whichever it will caught first, it will print that exception. So here you see this uh, one try block and multiple catch block. Here it is one catch block, another catch block and another catch block. So any error uh, could be happen and uh, generally the exception uh, uh, exception class will be provided in, in the last catch block, okay. In the last catch block. Let us uh, go into the uh, Eclipse ID and see what kind of error uh, will generate there and how can uh, we trap that error. Now, first of all, I uh, will see it here, the uh, the try cage block. So, here you see this, uh, the try cage block, if I will if I'll put it here, if I put it here too and let us uh, uh, run these programs. So, here, here you see this, uh, uh, here uh, 10 divided by 2 will be 5 here. So, it, it has not uh, thrown any errors. Okay, here I, I have uh, put it under the try catch block. You see this, I have put it under the try catch blocks and A equal to 10, uh, B equal to 2, C equal to A plus B. Now, when I change this, when I change this, uh, when I change this to 0, when I change this to 0. So, what will happen here? Let us see it. So, here you see this. So this kind of error occur that is the java dot lang dot arithmetic exception. Now these arithmetic exceptions inside the lang class and this is in the java. So these are the package name, these are the java is the main uh, package here, then the, then lang, then arithmetic exception is the class name and by zero and here the thank you is presented in this line. So, and uh, after the thank you is presenting, uh, this uh, the e dot print is take entire things uh, that were uh, the uh, line numbers and the thing the, that the things has happened there the error is happened there when you click here when you click here 
so it will pinpoint it where that particular error occurred there so you can now identify that all oh, the error is here and uh, you can uh, rectify that error so this error will only be given at compile time okay when you compile that but here i'm not compiling it but uh, this id that eclipse id is very much intelligible that it's recognized that there may be is an uh, error here so this is uh, this is a why we should be use the different kinds of id instead of the the notepad okay so it will uh, automatically give you that uh, the error that where that particular error is here you see that a equal to integer dot percent br dot read line so here uh, that is the input error so may it there might be input error there might be an input error so i have to uh, provide an, one exception is that is the throws io exceptions okay that is the throws i exceptions and this is uh, the compile time error and this is a checked error okay so uh, let's say if i if i don't put it here if i don't put it here i'll just read it and i'll try to compile it say what will happen here so if i if i want to compile it so here the error exists in require projects it will not compile and if you want to proceed uh, it will give the error where that error is so here you have seen that uh, uh, the line number 15 here and line number 16 here so here i had unhandle exception type io exceptions and i exception two errors is here because uh, i am trying to enter two value here okay with the help of input stream reader and buffer reader class and uh, <coughs> so here uh, the br uh, dot read lines will take some input in strings and it need to be converted back to the integer and then it will store uh, in the primitive data uh, type of a and this is the wrapper class okay and uh, obviously uh, here the string value will supply this value to the integer dot parsing and this integer dot parsing is converted the this value into the primitive data types a here and then primitive data types b here so what will i do here so i will provide here the throws io exception now uh, again i am trying to run it so let's what will happen here and uh, okay nothing happened here nothing happened so i'll put it here 30 and then uh, 20 and 30 and it will give me 50 okay this will be the my output 50 so this is uh, the throws io exceptions and uh, this is one type of the check the exception so i have give I, I have uh, ex, uh, i have given the one example of throws there is another keyword that is called the throw keyword and uh, in throw keywords uh, it's uh, so uh, in the in these programs is is uh, the exception is handled uh, in the runtime system so here uh, the throw keyword uh, can be used to throw an exception explicitly it can be used to rethrow an exception which has already been thrown the throw statement requires a single arguments a throwable ob uh, objects and throwable objects are instances of any class of the throwable class so here i am going to give one uh, throw example here let's uh, uh, create one class and uh, i will take this class as the uh, public static void main that it will be there the main class and let's uh, i will this uh, uh, give the name here throw t h r o w throw example so i am going to give the throw example here okay and here i am give the try try block and in that try block i'll put it here throw new arithmetic arithmetic exceptions okay 
and I will put it here in here inside the bracket hello throw semicolon and then I will catch it here catch block and uh, here I will put it here arithmetic e and write something here sys out and uh, print it here exception caught exception caught <coughs> what it what exception caught here so i'll give here e okay then uh, i can get one message uh, uh, there is another uh, another message that uh, you can uh, you can put it here in the uh, the objects of the exception so there is a one may uh, one uh, more method here so let's uh, take this uh, take the take this example also here so i'll put it here this e so uh, we have seen there's uh, the uh, uh, one uh, one error here that is uh, the e dot print stack press here now here there is another here another method here and that method known as the get message okay it will uh, give you the message here let's run it so here uh, uh, you see there's the explicitly i have called the throw okay explicitly i have called the uh, the throw block here and uh, throw keyword i have used here and arithmetic obviously and hello throw here and uh, <coughs> so what is the message here what is the message here the message is hello throw so whatever whatever i write here hello from throw if i write here hello from throw and uh, let's run it again see here uh, the hello from throw is uh, given here so this throw uh, this this particular uh, particular line is throwing an error uh, throwing an exception and this exception can be printed with the help of get message okay it can be printed with the help of get message is that clear so this is how we can yes, uh, this is how you can uh, we can use that uh, throw met now i'll give one more example of uh, the uh, throw here let's create one, another class here Throw example, throw example uh, two here. Okay, so I just create the class here, and inside the class, uh, I'll just copy this. Here you see that uh, the one method is here, and this is the static method, and you don't need to, you don't need to here uh, take. Uh, the objects of this class okay or create an object uh, object of this class when you define any keyword with the static keywords uh, that particular function of that particular methods and the variables is belong to this uh, uh, class and it did not did uh, you don't need to uh, take any reference uh, of that so let's uh, uh, see here here uh, the program will run from here that is public static void main and then uh, this method is called without any reference of the or the objects so directly it is called check here age 15 so uh, here uh, it passed the 15 age passes 15 and now age is received here and if age is less than 15 access denied you must be like say the uh, you must be at least 18 years old 
okay and access granted so if it is less than 18 so this message will be throw otherwise this message will be throw okay so let's uh, uh, run these programs okay let's run the program here Here you see that uh, the error is showing here, here this error is showing here, access denied, you must be at least 18 years uh, of age and uh, where this error occurs, so this error occur at this point, okay, at this point and this line is uh, uh, when you click it and where the, the value will take that, where value will receive from, which line, this is the line. Now, if I'll put it here, see if I'll put it here, uh, say uh, 18, okay. If I'll put it here 18 instead of 15, instead of 15, I'll put it here 18 or maybe more than 18. Just I'll, I'll put it here 18. Now, again, I run it. Now, this time, this error, this particular, uh, particular throw, uh, particular uh, throw exceptions will not be thrown or will not be uh, run here. So, here the access granted. Why it is access granted? Because the condition is defined in such a way that if it is less than 18, then this will be thrown. But here the 18 is less than, uh, it is not less than uh, 18 because it is 18 is equal, uh, this age is equal to 18 here. It is not less than 18. So, this uh, else will be uh, printed, okay. This else will be printed. Okay, I think uh, now it is uh, absolutely clear to you, everybody. Now, what if uh, if I uh, um, uh, take the input from the users and I will use this input stream reader and buffer reader? So, how will I use that? So, here let's int. I'll uh, create one variables int age, and then I'll put it here input stream reader. input stream reader in equal to new input stream reader and then system dot in then semicolon ok and then I will take it another another uh, class here that is you can call this uh, uh, buffer class directly and uh, put this in, uh, input stream reader inside that, but uh, here I am not uh, calling uh, it together that you not won't confuse there. So, buffer reader here. So, input stream reader and buffer reader you can use instead of the scanner class, okay, and this is more versatile than the scanner class. I am keep, I will give here br new and then I will put it here buffer. buffer so buffer reader and uh, i'll i'll put this in objects and uh, here uh, in the constructor now uh, take one message here see shout and here i'll uh, type here enter age. Now, here age equal to br dot br dot read line. But I have told you that uh, that the, uh, it should be converted into the integer. So, I will put it here the integer here, okay, integer dot parse int and in between that now here you see uh, one error here okay oh one minute so i'll just delete that br
okay now here you see it is a is equal to now i'll pass it is a is here this a i'll pass as a parameter here so there is no error here but error here is there so what kind of error here you see there's unhandled exceptions type io exceptions okay unhandled type of io exceptions here so here i have to give the throw io exceptions where i have to give the throw io exceptions here i am calling this input output stream reader and buffer reader so i have to use here and uh, throws Pro IA exceptions. Now you see this error is gone here. Now call it here. Run this program again. Now it will ask one uh, one input here. See if I if I put it here twenty, so uh, it uh, absolutely no error uh, uh, has been thrown here, or no uh, exception has been throw uh, thrown here. Now I'll uh, run it again, and uh, I'll give here uh, say say 14. So 14 here now you see this the this particular throw exceptions will be thrown here. Have been thrown here, okay? See this is the error, uh, and now uh, you can uh, absolutely clear about that the throw and the throws keyword is that clear? throw and throws keyword is that clear where we will use throw and throws hello is it clear guys yes sir now nested try block here this try block here you see this uh, the here is a try block here and uh, and then another try block tried under try block here so this try block is catch by this uh, 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 this particular try block inside this try block the catch uh, uh, exceptions here and this try block catch belongs to this try uh, the outer outer try block okay if i run it here so here are the array out of bound exception because um, it first is caught this error okay it first caught this error and because uh, uh, in the first instance in the first instance it will be caught okay in first instance it will be caught here because uh, this is the try and the uh, the program is terminated here see program is terminated and uh, the this uh, particular array index out of bound exceptions will be thrown here and say if if it is okay say if i write it here uh, like say if i write it here uh, say zero or two maybe anything that is uh, less than less than 10 now see uh, what will be the error here now here uh, you see there's this uh, particular error will not be thrown here but uh, uh, the try catch block so this error will be thrown this particular error will be thrown sorry Division by zero is not possible. Sorry, division by zero is not possible. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the uh, first. If if the error if the error is a, a error here, so uh, this particular the outer try catch block uh, try catch block will uh, fire here. Okay, will fire here. This error will fire. But if uh, this is okay, then the inside of the try uh, catch block will fire. So this is uh, uh, one example of nested. Uh, this is one examples of nested uh, try catch block. Now let's see uh, one uh, final here uh, thing. The finally uh, block. Okay, finally block. Actually, what it uh, will do? Now he here uh, I'll first uh, um, first let's see here. I'll I'll put it here. So there is no exception here. So if I'll g give here. Uh, int uh, num uh, number equal to 60 by 5 so there is no exception so it will print uh, uh, something okay so it will print 12 here so there will be no exceptions here there will be no exceptions but here you see this finally a uh, finally block okay this finally block 
so you can use this final block at that at the last time of the try catch block so there may be multiple catch block there may be multiple catch blocks but only try uh, only finally block okay and this finally block whether or not your uh, programs will throw any error this will run this will run okay and this uh, uh, usually pertain uh, it is usually run uh, at some point of time like say memory recovery or say the uh, uh, the file close uh, the database close at that time so this finally block generally be used there but here uh, it is used let's uh, uh, run it is let's run this So here uh, you see this, uh, there is no error here, there is no exception here, 60 divided by 5 is absolutely fine here, so 60 divided by 5, the answer will be 12 and this finally block has been run here, you see this finally block has been run and this remaining code is also be run. Now let us, uh, I will put it here 0, I will put it here 0, so let us what will happen, see the what will happen here. You see this? 60 divided by 0, obviously it will throw an error. What kind of error it is uh, divided by 0 error? But this finally block has been executed. So, it whether uh, the exception occur or not occur, whether there is an exception, whether there is error or not error, finally block will be done will be there will be run okay this has to be run so this is our the finally block is so i think now uh, uh, the i have covered it out uh, more or less uh, all the uh, keyword of the uh, exception handling let's uh, see a few more points here okay let's see a few more points here an exception can be handled using try catch and finally block we can handle multiple ex exceptions using multiple catch block. There can be possibly for several exceptions inside the try block, but at a time only one exception will be raised. A single try block in Java can be followed by uh, several catch block. A catch block cannot be without try block, but a try block can have without a catch block. We cannot write any statement between try and catch block. We can also write try block within another try block that called the nested try block. So these are the some few uh, very important points of the exception handling. So guys, uh, uh, all the uh, uh, things uh, I have explained uh, uh, here and uh, hope that uh, uh, all these things is understood and if there is any problem so let me know here okay